Hey, Bo, what's the difference between surviving and living? So just a thought on that, and of course, this is a question that's been asked for what, thousands of years, probably ever since we've been alive. And of course, I don't have the answer, uh, but I will give you the answer that works for me, at least at the moment. And it has to do, of course, ground and perception, but, that, but more than that in biology, which is that uh, life is movement. To be alive is to be in movement, and things that are stationary get selected out, they die. So as you can see, I've just been in movement, I've just come back from a run, uh, and before going, I was really exhausted, as you can see in my eyes, I'm really, really tired um, prior to running. And but I decided to look away from the obvious, look away from just sitting still, and I decided to be in movement, and as a consequence, I feel so much more alive. Why? Because both, I did that movement and also I decided to do so. I was proactive, which is why the Misfits has come out with a new t-shirt which says, you know, activate your prefrontal to overcome the inherited instinct to sit still, to conserve energy, but to spend that energy to expand yourself in particular. Things that expand, and I don't mean just grow, but things that expand, become more complex, tend to be more adaptable. They tend to be more resilient they feel more alive and in order to make the decision to choose to move you only have a choice when you know you have one and that choice requires awareness awareness and how and why you're seeing what you're seeing in the first place because also almost everything we do is a is a response to decrease uncertainty but when we become aware of that it gives you the opportunity to see differently to choose differently and that's what I call seeing yourself see. Normally we're just seeing, but as soon as you can see yourself see, you have the possibility of seeing yourself see differently. And that to me is what it is to be alive. It doesn't mean uh, being happy. Uh, it doesn't mean getting over your sadness in order to get out of bed, getting over your tiredness in order to go for a run. You, life is a practice and you, um, you use the sadness to get out of bed. Use the energy of the tiredness in some sense, ironically, to run. Use it as the motivation. And well, I would be arrogant for me to say that you should change your perception, but we can all expand them. And to expand is to be in movement. It doesn't mean not celebrating the moment, not seeing the beauty in the moment, not finding the impossible in the common. Um, so we can find beauty in the moment. But part of that moment and the beautiful thing is when we become more and more complex and we become smaller and smaller because the world becomes bigger and bigger as we understand more and know less.